revenue. Well, here's some bad news for billionaires out there. It turns out the rich are getting, well, less rich. The annual Forbes magazine list of the 400 richest Americans was released this week. And while the usual names are at the very top, the amounts of wealth are quite a bit lower. Rosemary Church breaks down the numbers. Faltering capital markets and real estate prices, fraud and divorce all played a part in slashing the collective wealth of the Forbes 400 list of richest Americans, down $300 billion in the past 12 months. Microsoft chairman Bill Gates is number one at $50 billion, but that's down $7 billion in the past year. At number two, one of the most successful investors in history, Berkshire Hathaway chief Warren Buffett, suffered the biggest loss of the top 10, dropping $10 billion down to $40 billion. Four members of the top 10 are with Walmart. The Walton family members together lost nearly $14 billion. New York Mayor Michael Bloomberg, also the founder and owner of his financial software services company, ranked eighth at $17.5 billion, down $2.5 billion in the past year. 274 of the 400 on the list are entirely self-made members. The average age is 65.8. 117 have been divorced at least once and 11 have been divorced at least three times. The most popular state for the richest Americans is California. 83 of them live there, followed by New York State with 66. 32 previous list members were dropped, including financier Alan Stanford, charged in a multi-billion dollar fraud. Chances are you're not feeling too much sympathy for the poor or rich, but interesting to note, as a result of all those challenging market forces, the nouveau riche are reaping some benefits. The price of admission onto the famous Forbes 400 list has now gone down from a billion dollars to a mere 950 million. A bargain. Rosemary Church, CNN, Atlanta. Gosh, a sign of the times, huh? Well, that is all for World Business Today. I'm Colleen McEdwards at CNN Center.